This one's going to be on a lightweight image viewer called Feth. Um, I actually would recommend this to anyone because it does the job really well. Okay. Uh, it opens the image, you know, really quick. It doesn't use a lot of resources. So if you have a shitty computer, not going to be an issue. You have a good computer, you might as well use this too because it opens real quick. Um, some drawbacks to this is that it doesn't support animated GIFs. So if you're using animated GIFs a lot, you probably don't want to use this though because it doesn't support it. Um, they do support some other formats, but mainly I just use it for JPEGs and PNGs and maybe some other off ones, but um, that's the main two that I use, okay? So, how do you use this here? So, let's have some images here. And if you want to type in Feth, and I'll start out with this uh, 47 one here. And right now, we, this is their image. Now, this one is uh, maximized, so this is like their full resolution for this image. If you want to scale it down, you hit the slash, and it scales it down. Now, by default, they use a, a transparency background. So these checkerboards or whatever here, these are the transparency, all right? So if you want to change that, we'll quit out this here, hit escape here. And we'll do Feth, uh, dash, capital B, and we want it white. They actually have some other colors too if you want to check out their man page. But we'll start that up again. Now we did slash again. Right, it'll scale it down. But you can see that now is using the white background. So it's still annoying that you have to hit slash every time to scale it down. Because uh, if the image is too big for your monitor. Right. So to get around that. You can actually start it up uh, in a resolution that you want. So you can make up the resolution if you want, but I like to use uh, what my monitor has. So I'll use XRandar here to find one. So right now my monitor is this big, but I want something that's smaller. So I'll use um, one of these here. So I'll copy this sucker. You don't have to do this, but uh, I like using the one for my monitor, right? So let's clear that again. And this time we'll do Feth. Uh, Dash capital B here and one white background and then we're gonna use geometry so dash G basically geometry is uh, your resolution that you want and we're gonna paste that sucker in there and we want the image that we want so 47 images here and there you go now it opens it uh, you know scaled it to our resolution that we want and it fits in my monitor so I don't have to use the uh, slash hockey anymore uh, there's still some drawbacks with this too because you can't go you know the next image or the previous image or page up page down anything it only shows you that one stupid image right so let's just escape out of this again and now let me list it out again here so we start out with this image but let's say we want to scroll to these other images right it's not uh, one thing you can do if you're on a command line you can do feth actually what we did before feth that one and we're gonna tell it to use either you can do star and then the extension that you want like jpegs or whatever otherwise all these are images so I'll just hit star or dot I mean and dot means your current directory so basically this is like a wild card and now I'll load up that image but you can actually scroll into the next one using either n or P to go previous, or you can go page up, page down, right? Uh, so that's that. Now, that's still not great enough because if you try to do that, and let's say you want to start out with an image, like let's say uh, this game image, whatever here, right? If you start to do like that, you still can't go page up, page down, which is kind of annoying. Uh, you have to start out in the beginning instead of in the middle or whatever. So, uh, there's actually a script in the Arch Wiki, and uh, this is the script here. So I'll show you what the script does here, right? The script is called Feth Browser, and basically this will allow you to do is that you can start up in, on any image. So let's say, for example, we start up on this game image here, um, and it starts there, but you can actually still cycle through the other images, so using page up, page down, or N and P, right? So that's that, uh, what that script does. 
And if you want to do slideshows, um, using that same thing, whatever, you can do uh, Feth. Um, what did we do before? Feth, B, whatever. Oh, yeah, let's say, for example, you want to do slideshows, you can always do um, a dash capital D. And you want to delay it by, let's say, three seconds. And we want the whole folder in here, so we do uh, a dot for the current directory. And now, every three seconds, it will just, uh, you know, go on to the next one. Right? So, that's how you will set up a, uh, a slideshow. Now, as far as the script here, uh, you can actually use it in a GUI file manager if you want. So, for example, uh, if you have Feth install, it should uh, automatically detect it, I believe. But then, if you want to open it, let's say, for example, this one, right, you still can't go page up, page down uh, to cycle between them. So, not as efficient. So, what we're going to do is create one of those um, uh, script that they have here, okay? So, for my new users, this is how you would do it for scripts. Uh, you copy this thing, copy this sucker, and they call it feth underscore browser. We'll copy uh, what they uh, wrote there, okay? But basically, you right click on your desktop or any place, and you go to create an uh, empty file, and they call it feth underscore browser dot sh, and hit create. And now we have one of these suckers. So right click on here and open it with your text editor. This is Leafpad. If you're using GNOME, it's called gedit. If you're using what the fuck was the other one? KDE is called um, Kate and some other bullshit. Just a text editor. Just open that sucker and we'll paste the script in here. Save this stupid thing. Close it. Now that's just for saving the file. Now you have to have permissions for it. So right click on here again. And go to properties and then you go to permissions. And then you check this box. Mine says allow this file to run as a program. Your shit, if you're on a different uh, desktop environment, I would say like allow executing whatever the fuck it is for it. Close. Now that's just setting up uh, the permissions and everything. Now to get it to work with your images, um, well it depends. You know if you have like different ones. Like I only have JPEGs here, but if you have PNGs, you might have to do for PNGs also. But right click on here, and then you go to properties. By default here it says open with Feth or maybe some other uh, image viewer. But you click on here and go to other applications. And at the bottom here it says custom command. And now you point it to your script wherever it's located at. Mine is at the uh, desktop here. And I open that sucker. So this is our script. And then you have to add in some extra arguments. So you're definitely going to need a percent %f. And this is to tell it that we're going to use a file within our browser here. Uh, or I mean our file manager here. And also you want to do extra arguments like we did before with dash capital B and we wanted a white background. And also we wanted a um, geometry. What did we use for geometry? Oh yeah, we used it this one here. So we'll copy that sucker again. And so we'll dash G and we'll insert that in there. And that's pretty much it. So we have our script here. We wanted to use the, a file within our file browser here, uh, white background and the geometry that we want, right? And then you hit OK, and that's it. Now it says open with fbrowser.sh, and that's how you know it's good. And now when you click on this, hey, it opens that in our uh, geometry that we want, and you can use uh, N and P, page up, page down. There's some other hotkeys in here if you want to know, like um, if you hit V, that's full screen. So V and V, or you can hit your mouse, uh, you click, uh, what is that, your left click to go to the next button. Or you can use uh, your wheel, so wheel up, or wheel down to go back, right? Um, anything else in here? Oh yeah, if you right click on here with your mouse, you have other options in here. They have like a little menu you can do. So let's say if this one is, uh, is you know, like upside down something, you actually rotate it 
Now, if you do this one, it will actually preserve it. So it will actually save it. Okay. So if you do this, make sure it's on an image that you really want to rotate. Other stuff you can do, like delete. You want to do that. Um. So those are like you know the the uh, what was that the mouse keys. Other things you can do. If you want to zoom in, zoom out, you middle click, and then you uh, move your mouse uh, to the left or the right, and it'll zoom in, zoom out. So make sure you hold the middle mouse, and you know this is how you would zoom in here. Uh, if you want to do a blur, let's make this bigger here. But you want to do a blur, you hold Control and you hit your left mouse button, and you move your uh, mouse to the left or the right, and it'll blur it. See, there's a blur right there. Let's unblur it though. Uh, if you do, if you want to rotate it with your mouse, you can do uh, Control, but middle click, and you move, uh, you know, left and right, and it'll rotate it. Kind of stupid, but that's how you do that. Let's go on to the next image or whatever here. Uh, actually, let's go back. What is it with you? Okay, let's say this image. Um, what can we do next? Okay, we did that one, that one. Oh yeah, if you want to use uh, your hotkeys to rotate, you can do that by holding Shift, and then uh, what is that? This thing called the greater, the lesser sign. So Shift, and this is how you can rotate it. Instead of using your menus that we did here, right? You can actually just rotate uh, using your hotkeys if you want. So that's that. But like I said before, that will preserve it if you rotate it. So. Pretty much it for the hotkeys. Uh, either using your, you know, your hotkeys or your mouse, up to you. Okay, that's it for that. So exit out of this. You can use Escape or X, and I will quit it. Quit this sucker too. Other options. This is not really important, but maybe you want to try it out. Uh, it's basically you hit Feth dash M and uh, dot here. This will do a montage of the current directory. So you can see that this is the montage here. Basically, it's just um, small thumbnails that's generated by the images that's in that folder. Not really important though, but escape. Uh, another one that's similar to that is feth-c for collage. And we'll do the current directory also. Basically, this will generate thumbnails too, but it's randomly placed in. Uh, if you have more images, it will actually generate more, but I only have a few here. So escape out of that. And the last one is Feth uh, dash T. And this one is like a clickable thumbnails. Right. Basically it's kind of like a file browser or a file manager. Uh, and it'll allow you to click on these things because it has like a you know thumbnails of it and it has the names of it. But you can actually click on it too. So if I click on one of them, let's say for example this one. Right, you click on it, and there you go. That's the image. And you hit X. You go back to this image here. Uh, click it again. X. So that's what you can do with that one, the, the thumbnail mode. And after you're done with it, you can hit Escape if you want. Pretty much it for the program. And like I said, very lightweight. Doesn't work with GIFs. Uh, recommend it to anyone. And um, that's it for that.